son's girlfriend gave me this old dining room table. It belonged to her mother and um, they no longer need it, but it does still kind of have some sentiment of value. She had a hard time parting with it. A while back, she mentioned that she would like a set of cornhole boards. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to take this table and I'm going to disassemble all the hardware and I'm going to cut it into two cornhole boards. I think doing that will be very sentimental to her and mean more to her because it was her mother's table. I took a sander with some 60 grit paper and went after the corner of this leaf. And what I found is the laminate underneath of all of this is, is about an eighth inch thick and it's made of wood. That leads me to believe that once I make this set of boards, I should be able to stain that wood and give it a nice beautiful color. And that is my hope to put together a nice, beautiful set of cornhole boards. I'm going to stain them, finish them with some urethane, and hopefully she'll really like what I come up with. With my table disassembled, I'm now ready to go ahead and mark out the dimensions for the tops to my cornhole boards. I laid a straight rule along the table, and I tell you what, it tracks perfectly with this metal ruler. So I think I'm going to use this as my edge, my flat edge, against my saw to get another perfectly square edge. But first what I need to do is you'll notice these little, these little guides here are little pegs that, that slide into the opposite side of the table to kind of hold it together. Um, I'm going to take a flush cut saw and I'm going to cut those off. A couple of quick passes with the sander to make sure that it's uh, perfectly smooth and I've got a nice flat edge to uh, help me square up my tops to my cornhole boards. Looking online, I came up with this chart that shows three different sizes of cornhole boards. Now the table is not quite 48 inches across, uh, so I'm going to go with a set of 36 inch boards by 24 inches. So the tabletop is made of poplar, and it's laminated with about an eighth inch thick, what looks like oak laminate. What I'm going to do so that you don't see the sides with the laminates glued to them, which are relatively ugly, I'm going to go ahead and build a frame around this with some three-quarter inch oak. So when I take 24 inches minus three-quarter inches, I come out with 22 and a half inches. 
Over at the saw, I've set the distance of the fence to the blade at about 23 inches. I decided I would go ahead and clean up the one side, flip it around, take this down to 22 and a half inches, and then clean up the other side. Uh, just to, just that, that way to make sure my boards match up perfectly when I build the uh, frame around the outside of the box.